breaking right now at 9 o'clock. Three Philadelphia SWAT officers shot in the line of duty as they were executing a warrant in the West Poplar section of North Philadelphia. A civilian was also shot and a suspect is dead at this hour. We have full team coverage for you from the shooting scene from the hospital right now on CBS 3. This is Eyewitness News at 9, everyone streaming live on CBS News Philadelphia. I'm Natasha Brown. And I'm Janelle Borelli. We want to get you right to the scene of this breaking news right now. This is Chopper 3 live over North 10th Street, where you can see an active police scene right now. Well, this is in the city's West Poplar neighborhood. Still a lot of police on the scene. There's still a flurry of activity happening there in North Philadelphia in that West Poplar area. And right now, those crews are working to piece this all together. And we have live team coverage for you at 9 o'clock of this shooting. Wakisha Bailey is live at Jefferson Hospital where those SWAT officers are being treated. First, let's get to Jasmine Payute right now. She's live at the shooting scene where this all started in West Poplar. Jasmine, what can you tell us is happening right now? Good morning, Natasha Janelle. This crime scene just keeps expanding with police pushing this crime scene tape back further and further away. What we do know at this moment is that three SWAT officers, including a suspect, were shot during this ordeal. We're told those officers are expected to be okay, but that suspect did die at Temple University Hospital, according to officials. Now, we spoke with the neighbors. We have one with me right now who say they heard this. Elaine, tell me what you heard this morning. A lot of shooting. Like we was in a war zone, a lot. It was a lot of shooting. What did you think was happening? Somebody was getting shot, you know. Uh, I thought it was a drive-by or something like that, you know, shooting at somebody on the streets. But it was just right on the corner for me. So that was scary, you know. And then they come to find out that people was getting, really getting shot, for real. You know, that, it's crazy, you know. It's really crazy, and they still here. You know. How does it make you feel to see all this, you know, it's, right in your neighborhood? It's scary. It's, this is written now. This is really beyond. It's scary because it's that close to you, you know, to you. And then the kids, you know, people, buses, bus drivers coming up, getting ready to pick up kids. You know, well, they ain't pick up kids at that time of morning, but like 5:30 in the morning. But they get ready to pick kids up, like, you know, about six, seven o'clock. And they can't come now because this is all blocked out because, because of this shooting. Being this close to you, you know, you never know. You can walk out your door and get shot. You know, that's. Yeah, thank you, Elaine. You thank are. you. Yes. Details are still developing, but what we do know is that this all started around 6 o'clock this morning here on North 10th Street. Officers are still here with notepads looking through the scene, trying to figure out exactly what happened. They were reportedly serving a homicide warrant, which led to a barricade situation. There are at least 30 evidence markers littered all over this street here. And take a look at this video. Eyewitness News captured officers taking three people into custody from a home which appears to be at the center of this investigation. A woman at the scene says one of the people taken is her juvenile son. No other information was given. Hear what police had to say during a press conference not too long ago. This is something that these officers sign up to do a job, is to protect and serve, but not to take gunfire. And, and at some point, it becomes enough. And, and I think we've already passed that point where, where it's enough. And, and we need that anger to, to resonate across the citizens of this city as well because it's not a day that goes by that we don't either have a child that's shot or multiple people shot because there are too many people that are out, out here carrying guns and they, they don't have consequences. And so some of these people need to be in jail. And that's the bottom line and that's the consistent thing that we keep seeing. Back here live as this investigation unfolds, children were forced to duck under crime scene tape just to get to school this morning as officials investigate what exactly happened here. Again, three Philadelphia police SWAT officers shot along with one civilian. Those officers are expected to be okay, but we're told that suspect has died. We'll keep you posted on this breaking story. We're live in West Poplar. Jasmine Payu, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Jasmine, as that neighbor said, it sounded like a war zone as that gunfire was erupting. We'll check back with you and Jasmine in a few minutes.